Well, we have a great topic for you today, right up your alley, hidden truths and perhaps intriguing facts about men that women aren't aware of. Thank you so much for joining us again on Second Act TV. Once again, I want to welcome back Robert Manny, the host of Guys Guy Radio and Guys Guys TV right here on YouTube and the author of the Guys Guys Guide to Love. Robert, thank you for being here again. Thanks for having me back, Silka. Well, we have a great topic for you today right up your alley, and that is hidden truths and perhaps intriguing facts about men that women aren't aware of, that women need to know, especially as we're out there trying to find love after 50. Let's go ahead and just just dive into it, get to the first one, because I, this I thought was interesting, that men take longer to recover from a heartbreak that they say here that, you know, women may uh, initially take a bigger toll, but that men sometimes never get over it. I don't think I've ever heard that. Well, I think it's uh, in in interesting and, and possible. Every, of course, every situation is individual. One size doesn't fit all. But I think for guys, that they have a difference than women. Women have kind of a cadre of a, a group uh, scenario, like in Sex in the City or uh, whatever the second show is, just like that or whatever. They have a group to talk to. And men don't share much in terms of details about the nitty gritty with their, with their friends, mm -hmm. unless it's one-on-one -on -one and you're really telling your best friend something, hey, I'm, we're getting a divorce or something like that. It's more mm -hmm. of an, an announcement instead of drilling deep down and about feelings and wiping tears away. Guys, <laughs> the guys I know just don't do that. It's, it's an informational exchange. So as a result of that, it's it, it, it takes longer to get over things because we don't have a roadmap. We have to process mm -hmm. a lot of things on, on our own. It's tough for guys and it does mm -hmm. take a while. And I've been in that situation. And it's like, what do you do? You have to just, uh, you know, you lick your wounds and you keep mm -hmm. going, hopefully. And uh, it get, it's tougher the older you get to get out there like Saturday night. Do I want to go out to a bar or something? What are you going to do? Then you do I join a meetup group? It's just it's mm -hmm. tough to recover. The broken heart is one thing. Uh, and then getting back out there is another thing. That's a big challenge because a lot of guys, myself included, we become creatures of habit. Yeah. Well, you brought up some interesting points that they will get into here, too, that what a lot of women don't maybe understand is that you really, as in you males, don't have male friends to talk to that. That's just not done. So, I mean, you just talked about that men really don't do that, that they just feel uncomfortable talking to their buddies. It, it, it makes you feel vulnerable and you don't, mm -hmm. it's always like a trash talk macho thing with your friends in a, in a good way. So for guys emotionally, they're not sure what to do. And they always want to take the high road for themselves. Like everything's good. Everything's mm -hmm. good. Yep. Everything's good. And sometimes everything's not so good. And we're just not taught how to exchange information about how we feel with other guys, with our male friends, we're doing other stuff. And a lot of guys struggle. Don't they're, they're concerned about doing that because they don't want to be judged by their friends. I think mm -hmm. that's the biggest part of it. Like, I would like to talk about some of those things with my male friends, but I'm like, I think of my male friends, I'm like, I'm not going to talk about that with him. Yeah. That's so funny that you said that, don't want to be judged. Uh, just last night, we, a conversation came up where uh, Paul reminded to be or, or remembered a... Um, uh, an incident with one of his really good friends. This happened like 30 years ago. You know, they were had, all had a few drinks, something happened, blah, blah, blah. They got in a verbal argument. But the guy ended up saying, you know, that really hurt my feelings. And after that, the guys just got on him. That To this day, they won't let him forget it. What, you know, yeah. a man would never say, oh, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> so... Uh, this is alive and well. I wonder what, you know, well, we don't have a lot of younger yeah. guys listening, but I think that's changing for younger men, but certainly not, yeah. uh, I think, for men in, in our age group. And again, we're talking to women, what you need to know. So that's, yeah. I guess no that's a No crying in baseball, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's funny. <laughs> He's afraid, number three here, that 
men are more afraid than they will ever admit. A lot of it, the same maybe as, as, as us, you know, maybe of losing a relationship or, you know, getting sick, dying. I mean, any, there, there's fears that we have that, you know, we are uncomfortable talking about, but especially men because they don't want to look weak. That's, I think that's 100% true. Um, I mean, listen, our culture is pervaded. It's driven. It's fueled by fear with the media and just, you don't have a job, you're through, you're getting old, you hit this age. So again, with guys not wanting to feel vulnerable, they're not gonna talk about, I'm afraid I might lose my job. Or you, want, you don't wanna tell your partner that because they might think, oh, well, he's out. Or, and you don't wanna tell your friends that because they'll think, loser, or whatever it is. I thought he was more successful in that. So who do you talk to? And that's really a struggle in our culture that we're not, men aren't programmed to be able to do that easily. And we end up right. shutting down and shutting things in and then getting sick. Well, and I think that's why the whole therapy thing is, is so much more acceptable now. I mean, we've had shows where it's a dating trend that younger people, they, they don't want to date somebody who has not been in therapy. Here's number four, that men struggle to say, I love you, even though they really care about you, think about you a lot. Now, is that, this is interesting. I really want to hear from my men on that, because I think some men do, some men don't. As, as you said, this is you know, 100% true. But in general, is that something that uh, where men feel exposed or vulnerable, the simple, I love you? You know, it's a, it's a big thing for a lot of guys. And I think there's a difference. It's not a bad thing that guys are uncomfortable saying I love you or that they don't say it enough. I think what's mm -hmm. more important is they show it. You know, mm -hmm. showing versus telling is always more important in terms of how you, you know, put yourself out there. I, I think there is a hesitancy. I know I, I should, I feel like with my wife, like I should say, I love you. And then I'll say, I love you. And it's, it feels like it's natural because I do love her but it right. feels like I'm forcing myself to say those words where mm -hmm. I'd rather just do something and be loving than have mm -hmm. to actually say it. But I yep. think that's a male thing, but you know, to be, you know, make a general statement versus I think women are a little more comfortable saying, I love you. I'll say, I love you to some guys too. I know mm -hmm. for cool. I'm like, love you, man. And I, I it, it, you know, that's cool. And, but some guys I'm sure like it. And some guys will, will refuse to respond to that. And you know what? That's on them. That it's again so funny you bring that up because Paul, that the I love you is to, oh man, I love you, but hey, thanks for calling. God, I love hearing from you, man. I just lo it's love, 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 love. He never tells me. <laughs> so it, it does. It, it, it kind of gets to me, but doing the show and understanding this, you know, and they do reference here that, uh, you know, if, if, for women or men for that matter, uh, if this is something that you struggle with or wonder about, you know, the five love languages, that simple book by Gary, Dr. Gary Chapman had, uh, put some uh, great light yeah. on, on the love languages. So I'll, I'll link to it. It's a good way to maybe understand <laughs> how men and women express love differently and how we want love expressed the way that we would express it, but that usually, you know, yeah. I'm doing the dishes. Exactly. I'm like, I love you. Yeah, now, that's for me. Like, I'm doing that. Okay, I have to yeah. say it too. So, yeah, but you should funny. want to. You should want. It should <laughs> flow. But for some reason, sometimes it gets stuck in our throat. If you're a guy. Yeah. Uh, number five. This is another one. Uh, I, I don't know. Men usually don't let on when they're jealous, when they're feeling jealous. That that also is something uh, that makes them look weak. Uh, and that they hope jealousy will say that that's an interesting because I do know, you know, jealous men. What do you think about this? I, I agree with you. It's very interesting because there's kind of two ways to look at it. I mean, some guys who are jealous, they, they're they not holding back. They're mm -hmm. just out there demonstrating their being jealous yeah. and then admitting to it. I am jealous. That's different. And I don't think a lot of guys want to admit that they're jealous mm -hmm. because that's saying this guy has something on me. And they don't want to admit that because you're putting yourself down by saying, I'm jealous of him, you know, he can, he, whatever, whatever the thing is this other person does. But by admitting you're jealous means like I'm saying he's better at that than me. 
and guys never want to admit that. Yeah, exactly. Because I, expressing jealousy, you know, male or female, is in a way a sign of weakness, and it does. It's a it's a horrible emotion. You know, I think we've done different segments on that. But I just thought it was interesting that it was included as something women, especially over fifty, need to know that as a rule, or well, generally speaking, that men don't want to show or admit their their jealousy when. Yeah. Again, exactly. leave leave Agreed. leave your comments. I would love to hear back from from our guys on this. The uh, other one here, no one compliments him. <laughs> that they that men do crave compliments. What I thought was interesting about it is that we are, you know, in a culture where yes, women just innately get more compliments. It's more natural to give compliment to a woman. To where a man, you just don't really do that they, they can get positive feedback like on the athletic field or at work or whatever but just to say hey you know what you look you look nice great shirt nice haircut but you know that isn't something that happens naturally do you agree with that yeah i agree and i think it's important um and sometimes when you're with a partner you take them for granted or you don't necessarily take them for granted but you don't mm -hmm. dish out dole out the compliments listen guys have had a really well had have had it really good and women are getting long overdue recognition. And mm -hmm. so guys aren't getting as much of the as of love as they gotten in the past. And you know what? Deal with it. But it's interesting that you mention that because I had a friend who pulled me aside in one of these guys to guy, guy to guy discussions and said, We're getting a divorce. And he'd mm -hmm. been married 20 years. And I mm -hmm. said, How come? And it, what it boiled down to, she wasn't laughing at his jokes. <laughs> And that was a, obviously the tip of an iceberg. Yeah. And I'm like, really? That's exactly to the point. Not mm -hmm. feeling validated, not getting the love, the, over, the compliments and all of that. So mm -hmm. I think on one hand, guys have to get over that and realize there's a lot more than just the compliments that do you have the love and the mm -hmm. support of uh, your partner. But on the other hand, guys are they're sensitive that way and mm -hmm. they really appreciate the compliments. Somebody told me, hey, when I saw you, you know, last fall or whatever, I couldn't believe how much energy you had when I when you told me how old you were. That was a great compliment. That was a great compliment. Yeah, that's a great compliment. So it stuck with me. I'm like, that's really good to hear to myself, mm -hmm. and I was very appreciative of that because somebody was paying attention and they noticed, and that energy was vibing from me. Yeah. So that's a really good thing. So guys do appreciate it, yeah. and guys don't necessarily need to be so needy about that, but they always appreciate a compliment. Well, what's a good point or a good point, what's an important point, I think, uh, is for women, really the power of a compliment, especially since we're discussing new, new relationships and understanding men, what do they want, is that when you do give a compliment, men will remember it. There was, funny, yeah. there was a funny point here there that, uh, you know, men will keep things that they didn't even like if a woman compliments it, <laughs> like, oh, you know, yeah, open exactly. shorts or a shirt, going to get rid of it. Oh, my, that looks really good. It'll still be in the closet. <laughs> Like talking about some later. guy, <laughs> yeah, uh, some guy didn't cut his hair for four years, or uh, had the same haircut because a woman complimented it. So, <laughs> and I, I, yeah, I believe that compliments need to be sincere. I'm, I'm yeah, the, all about mullet. compliments. The yeah, mullet the mullet always comes back in style too, right? I, you know what, I love the mullet personally. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So remember that talking to women now, the you have a lot of power with compliments. Just make sure they're absolutely they're, they're and make them real because women can make them really good. Like somebody's saying like to me, like about the energy thing, like that was so uh -huh. good. I'm like, that was that's great. a great compliment. That's not like you're hot or I like your yeah. shirt. I mean, OK, right. great. Right. Mm. But yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Great. So I'll great accept point. those always also, especially you're hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And say thank you. Say just say thank you. Don't always you know. Oh no, you don't. Well, that's well, I think women do that more than men. Anyway, uh, talk about insecure. <laughs> and we'll end on this one. That he, but women need to understand is that men tend to be insecure about their body or certain body parts. Now we've done a lot of uh, programming on body image, you know, for men to understand really what as women, what we go through with body image, et cetera, et cetera. And, and in doing so, I ran across an article that said that actually recent research shows that men are becoming a lot more uh, aware or, or, or deal with body image issues than women do. Is that something we need to know? 
Uh, well, I think their culture. I mean, you, you we have an extreme culture. So people who are in the zone when they're in their 20s or early 30s and they mm -hmm. and even early 40s get in great shape and they're showing it off on Instagram and all that. A lot of guys are like sucking in the gut, yeah. like, hey, how do I look type of thing? And it, it becomes a, an issue where you say, hey, how do I look? Hey, listen, I had a big full head of hair and, and uh, I always forget. When I'm looking at clothes and stuff, I'm like, you don't need clothes. Nobody's looking at you. Then I, my, this little voice says, nobody's looking at you anyhow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't waste your money on that. That's how it can be if you're a guy. But I, I, I figure, well, I have to compensate for it. By, I'll make up, I, I take care of my body better than anybody that I know. And so I'm really, really mindful about that. I don't know if my wife even knows it or uh, she doesn't say anything, but I'm sure she recognizes it. And that's a good thing. And even though we're together, it's good for your partner to, you know, you want to look good for your partner. Yeah. Well, and, and I think this is a point where I think either, either, either of us, men or women, you know, want to discuss or admit to the body image issues, but I think we need to recognize that they are there. And, and to oh, be, yeah. yeah, I think women have, um, not, not women, but people in general will tease a man about, oh, look at that beer gut, you know, used to have a six pack, now you got a keg, you know, and, and think that's funny. That can really be hurtful, that kind yes, of stuff. Exactly. And maybe we do need to be more, more, more aware of that, especially if we're trying to start a relationship or, or keep a relationship, you know, happy and, and go lucky, if right. you will. Robert, we're coming to the end. It's, it, this is a good topic. It's a good topic. Is there something that uh, you want to add? I think that there's two things, two great takeaways. One is for women to be aware that men are human. You know, they have mm -hmm. their frailties. They have their vulnerabilities. They have their yeah. fears. And just realize that, you know, what they put on a good front, but underneath there, there's a sensitivity there. And I think mm -hmm. every guy will, will ag agree with that. And the other thing is, I think for men and for people in general, take as good care of yourself as you possibly mm -hmm. can, because you can go downhill pretty quickly if you don't take care of yourself. And uh, you'll feel better about yourself if you put in the work, body, mind, and spirit to take care of yourself. I think it's really important that for your self-esteem, how you put yourself out there. You know, somebody said that, you know, the greatest work of art is living your life. So you're the artist, do your best painting ever. Perfect, perfect way to end this segment. As always, I will link to all of your information, your book, The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love, your Thank radio you. show, your podcast, and your YouTube channel, Guy's Guy's TV. Check out the show notes below. Watch and subscribe. <laughs> and Robert, I Thank look you. forward to seeing you back again soon on Second Act Thanks. TV. Thanks for having me, Silka. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.